you know we can go through amino acid pathway so before entering into the pathway first you have to know about the significance of this pathway just like what we studied in our acetate malonate pathway then acetate malonate pathway and shikimic acid pathway here also this pathway is having some significance in pharmacognosy okay so first we can see about the various significance of this amino acid pathway so before going to this uh, i already mentioned that you already studied about this pathway during your biochemistry classes okay so the various significance of amino acid pathway are first and important significance is it involves the synthesis of various amino acids so through this pathway only lot of amino acids are synthesized and is nearly common uh, commonly 20 different amino acids are there um, they are the common amino acid adhi kudla undu but uh, commonly 20 amino acids are there so uh, uh, among this 20 amino acids some are essential amino acids some are semi essential amino acids and some are general some are normal amino acids or uh, non essential amino acids okay so adhe adhe kyanu nalla kariyam ningalku ariya so the second significance is these amino acids will be acting as a precursors in the biogenesis of various secondary metabolites this amino acids will be acting as precursors in the synthesis of various secondary metabolites. So, secondary metabolites, we already studied that they are alkaloids, glycosides, okay, then saponins, secondary flavonoids, etc. They are the secondary metabolites. And these amino acids will be acting as a precursors in the biosynthesis of different secondary metabolites. So, this is the second significance of amino acid pathway. So our first significance and iron it involves the synthesis of various amino acids and second significance is they act as precursors in the biosynthesis of various secondary metabolites clear now the third and another important significance is and most of the amino acids are synthesized through glycolysis and from the tca cycle okay so most of the amino acids are obtained from glycolysis and tca cycle so these three are the important significance of amino acid pathway so first significance it involves a synthesis of various amino acids second thing is they act as precursors in the biosynthesis of various secondary metabolites and most of the amino acids are synthesized through the glycolysis and by the tca cycle clear so now we can see about this amino acid pathway so i already told that most of the amino acids are obtained from glycolysis and also from the tca cycle so here we are starting uh, from glycolysis and from glycolysis you already knowing the pathway of glycolysis glucose is there and from glucose glucose 6 phosphate will be obtained and after glucose 6 phosphate mm, uh, it will be entering into a pentose phosphate pathway and from there the first amino acid is obtained that is histidine clear so already told that uh, this uh, amino acids are biosynthesized from glycolysis and also from the tca cycle so first we can see about this glycolysis so here glucose in the first step it is converted to glucose 6-phosphate now this glucose 6-phosphate into, enters into the PPP or pentose phosphate pathway and from there the first amino acid is obtained that is histidine clear so on the amino acid around now from glucose 6-phosphate 3-phosphoglycerate is obtained 3-phosphoglycerate is obtained and now from this 3-phosphoglycerate from this 3-phosphoglycerate so <coughs> From this 3 phosphoglycerate, uh, uh, the next compounds that is, three different amino acids were biosynthesized. They are serine, glycine, serine, glycine, and cysteine. So, these are the three different amino acids that are synthesized from the 3 phosphoglycerate. Clear? So, from glycolysis only it will be started. So, in the initial step, glucose is converted to glucose 6 phosphate. And now this glucose 6-phosphate enters into the pentose phosphate pathway. And from there, the first amino acid obtained is histidine. Clear? Now this glucose 6-phosphate is again converted to 3-phosphoglycerate. And from this 3-phosphoglycerate, three different amino acids are biosynthesized. They are one is serine, then second one is glycine, and third one is cysteine. These are the three amino acids that are synthesized from this 3-phosphoglycerate. Clear? Now, from this 3-phosphoglycerate means it enters into the shikimic acid pathway. So, from this 3-phosphoglycerate, uh, now shikimic acid pathway is there. And from shikimic acid pathway, you already know that. And the can, sorry, uh, you already know that three different another amino acids are synthesized. And the can, other uh, phenylalanine, tyrosine and tryptophan. These are the three different amino acids that are synthesized from the 
and the shikimic acid pathway. So we already told that from, means uh, most of the amino acids are obtained from glycolysis and also from the TCA cycle. So glucose converted to glucose 6 phosphate. From there, the first amino acid is obtained, and now 3 phosphoglycerate is obtained. From there, three different amino acids is obtained, and also this 3 phosphoglycerate enters into shikimic acid pathway, and again also three different amino acids were biosynthesized. That is phenylalanine, tyrosine, and tryptophan. So altogether, till now, we already studied about the biosynthesis of seven different amino acids. Clear? Now, so the next step is pyruvate, and this pyruvate, okay, from pyruvate, now again three different amino acids is obtained. They are valine, leucine, and alanine. Okay, now from pyruvate, acetyl-CoA is obtained, and this acetyl-CoA enters into the TCA cycle. Okay, and here uh, means uh, the first step is alpha ketoglutarate. From alpha ketoglutarate, the first amino means it enters into glutamine or it is converted to glutamine. And from glutamine, the next amino acid biosynthesized is proline. Clear? So, at the amino acid is proline and not some border. So, now from this uh, proline, glutamine is also obtained. Either glutamate in the glutamine on down or they will then proline on down. Okay. So now means in the glycolysis step, pyruvate is obtained and pyruvate get, uh, from pyruvate three different amino acids are synthesized. They are valine, leucine and alanine. Now pyruvate is converted to acetyl-CoA and this acetyl-CoA uh, means uh, enters into TCA cycle. And here the first step is alpha ketoglutarate and this alpha ketoglutarate is converted to glutamate and from glutamate proline is obtained and also from glutamate glutamine is obtained. So, this is about the um, bias the size of another two amino acids, proline, glutamide. Now, we have to do the amino acid. Okay. Now, in the next step, so from this alpha ketoglutarate, ornithine is also biosynthesized. And now, from this ornithine, arginine is also obtained. Clear? Okay. Now, from alpha ketoglutarate, means after a few steps, malleate is obtained. TCA cycle, you already knowing. Okay, malleate is obtained from malleate, oxaloacetate is obtained and from this oxaloacetate, three another amino acids were biosynthesized. They are threonine, isoleucine and serine. Serine were a step in the number of the step it also obtained from the another one step. Okay, so now from this oxaloacetate and then again another three amino acids are obtained. They are aspartate, aspargine and lysine. Clear. So this is a TCA cycle. So that is about amino acid pathway. So we need to summarize what I say. So this is the entire summary of glycolysis. So uh, sorry, entire summary of amino acid biosynthesis. I already told that most of the amino acids are obtained from either glycolysis or from the TCA cycle. So this is another thing that we are going to So from the glycolysis step, glucose is converted to glucose 6-phosphate. From glucose 6-phosphate, it enters into pentose phosphate pathway. And there the first amino acid is obtained that is histidine. Now from this glucose 6-phosphate, 3-phosphoglycerate is obtained after a few steps. Means direct glycolysis is step in the So here, uh, means uh, from glucose 6-phosphate, 3-phosphoglycerate is obtained. And from 3-phosphoglycerate, three different amino acids are obtained. They are serine, glycine and cysteine. Clear? Again, this 3-phosphoglycerate enters into the shikimic acid pathway. And here also three different amino acids are obtained. They are tryptophan, tyrosine and phenylalanine. Clear. Now from this 3-phosphoglycerate, further it is converted to pyruvate. And from pyruvate, again three different amino acids are obtained. They are valine, leucine and alanine. Clear. Now from this pyruvate, it is converted to acetyl-CoA and it enters into the TCA cycle. And from this acetyl-CoA, okay. So alpha ketoate is first obtained and from alpha ketoate, uh, sorry, alpha ketoglutarate, glutamate is obtained and from this glutamate, proline, glutamine, etc. are obtained. Proline, glutamine, arginine, etc. means ornithine, etc. are obtained. Sorry, proline, proline, glutamate as well as ornithine is obtained and from this ornithine, arginine is also biosynthesized. Clear? So, it is obtained means that most of the amino acids are biosynthesized either through the glycolysis or from the TCA cycle. From the glycolysis, glucose is converted to glucose 6-phosphate 
and now this glucosic phosphate enters into the pentose phosphate pathway and there the first amino acid is obtained that is histidine now this glucose 6 phosphate is converted to 3 phosphoglycerate and from this 3 phosphoglycerate three different amino acids are biosynthesized they are serine glycine and cysteine again this 3 phosphoglycerate enters into the shikimic acid pathway and there also three different amino acids are synthesized they are tryptophan tyrosine and phenyl alanine now this 3 phosphoglycerate is converted to pyruvate and from this pyruvate again three different amino acids are biosynthesized they are valine leucine and alanine clear okay now this pyruvate is converted to acetyl coa and it enters into the tca cycle and the first uh, compound in tca cycle is alpha ketoglutarate first intermediate of tca cycle is alpha ketoglutarate okay from this alpha ketoglutarate glutamate is obtained and now this glutamate is converted to proline then glutamine and also ornithin and from ornithin arginine is also produced so apo ee glutamate in again four different amino acids are biosynthesized they are proline glutamine ornithin and from ornithin arginine is obtained clear now alpha ketoglutarate after few steps it is converted to maliate and uh, from maliate it is converted to oxaloacetate after few steps and now from this oxaloacetate so few different amino acids are biosynthesized they are threonine and isoleucine serine und apart from that another three amino acids were also there they are aspartate aspartame and lysine so that is about the amino acid pathway appo itrayan amino acid pathway il parayanayittu ullathu clear so avare 19 20 amino acids aanu idinathna synthesize cheyyunnathu so it is obtained from glycolysis and also from the tca cycle from glycolysis glucose is converted to glucose 6 phosphate okay now so this glucose 6 phosphate will be entering into pentose phosphate pathway then the first amino acid obtained is histidine now after few steps this glucose 6 phosphate is converted to 3 phosphoglycerate and from here three different amino acids are obtained they are serine glycine and cysteine and also this 3 phosphoglycerate enters into the shikimic acid pathway and from shikimic acid pathway three different amino acids are obtained they are tryptophan tyrosine and phenyl alanine now <coughs> this three phosphoglycerate is converted to pyruvate and from pyruvate again three different amino acids are obtained they are valine leucine and alanine now pyruvate is converted to acetyl coa and then it enters into the tca cycle then the first intermediate of tca cycle is alpha ketoglutarate and from this alpha ketoglutarate glutamate is obtained and from this glutamate four amino acids are synthesized they are one is proline then second one is glutamine and the third one is ornithine and now from this ornithine arginine is also obtained clear so apa our stage am kanyu now after few steps alpha ketoglutarate is converted to maliate and maliate is converted to oxaloacetate and from oxaloacetate six different amino acids are synthesized they are aspartame aspartate and lysine and apart from that it also result in the synthesis of threonine isoleucine and serine and this complete the biosynthesis of amino acids so that is about the biosynthesis of amino acids clear apa significance endayirunu it involves in the synthesis of various amino acids and these amino acids will be acting as intermediate in the biogenesis of various secondary metabolites clear and the third significance is most of the amino acids are obtained from glycolysis or from the tca cycle and this is about the pathway of glyco means uh, uh, amino acids a uh, pathway involved in the biosynthesis of amino acids so that is from glycolysis glucose glucose converted to glucose 6 phosphate it enters into pentose phosphate pathway and first amino acid obtained is histidine now after few step glucose 6 phosphate is converted to 3 phosphoglycerate and from there serine glycine and cysteine is obtained and this 3 phosphoglycerate converted to pyruvate and from there valine leucine and alanine is produced and now again this and the three phosphoglycerate enters into the shikimic acid pathway and there are also three different amino acids are synthesized like tryptophan tyrosine and phenyl alanine clear now this pyruvate is converted to acetyl coa and then it enters into the tca cycle the first intermediate of tca cycle is alpha ketoglutarate and from there glutamate is obtained and this glutamate is converted to four different amino acids like proline glutamine and ornithine and this ornithine is again converted to arginine then alpha ketoglutarate convert to maliate then from maliate oxaloacetate is obtained and from oxaloacetate aspartate aspartame lysine threonine isoleucine serine etc are biosynthesized so that is about amino acid pathway okay so apa 
മീൻസ് ഇത്രയും ആയപ്പോഴേക്കും നമ്മുടെ ആ ഒരു യൂണിറ്റിന്റെ ഫസ്റ്റ് പാർട്ട് കഴിഞ്ഞിട്ടുണ്ട് ബേസിക് മെറ്റബോളിക് പാത്വേസ് എല്ലാം കഴിഞ്ഞിട്ടുണ്ട് ദാറ്റ് ഇസ് അമിനോ ആസിഡ് പാത്വേ ഷിക്കിമിക് ആസിഡ് പാത്വേ ആസിഡേറ്റ് മെവലോണേറ്റ് പാത്വേ ആൻഡ് ആസിഡേറ്റ് മെവലോണേറ്റ് പാത്വേ So here this acetate mevalonate pathway is also known as isoprenoid biosynthesis. So that is about the first part in unit 1. Okay, then thank you.